So this is my response to Firelotus the Witch's video. Um, if you click on the little comment, you should be able to go watch their video. And then uh, the reason that I did it this way is because they were stitching another person's video. Um, so you can't stitch stitch. Anyway, um, I don't believe that you need to believe in witchcraft for it to work. I don't. Because I am somebody who is extremely skepti skeptical, extremely skeptical because I have been disempowered my whole life. Um, my whole life I have been made to feel less than, made to feel disempowered, made to feel like I am not worthy, I am not worth it. So I think that sometimes having that air of skepticism, feeling like this isn't going to work, might actually be what makes it work because I will be giving somebody a reading and I'll be like, I don't know where this is coming from, but this, 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 and this. And then I'll feel like I'm just crazy because like, how, how do I know this? How is this working? Um, and then somebody will comment back, oh my gosh, like this was so helpful. And I think that if you genuinely believe that your witchcraft is going to work, that... You know, maybe that works for some people, but as somebody who has spent so long being disempowered, I think that me genuinely being skeptical is why my witchcraft works. Because it's like the universe saying, oh, you're skeptical? Let me show you why you're wrong to be skeptical. So I think that you definitely don't need to believe in witchcraft for it to work. I think that the universe will conspire to show you that it'll work, um, to prove to you that your skepticism is unwarranted. And if you just have that skeptical air about you and you just continue to be skeptical, um, it's just going to continue to show you uh, and continue to put you in the same predicaments to try to convince you otherwise. Um, and yet I'm still skeptical. Like, it, it's this, like, never-ending vicious cycle. Um, so I don't think you need to believe in witchcraft for witchcraft to work. I think that you need to believe that nature is fluid. I think you need to believe that nature will conspire to create a balance. I think that you need to believe that everything happens for a reason. But I don't think you need to believe that lighting a candle or creating a jar or sprinkling cinnamon on your doorstep is going to work for it to work. Um, I think having an air of skepticism actually does help with that balance. But that's just me.